Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q1 of the weekly contest 252, three divisors. So this one is a little bit, you can do it in a couple of ways. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. And if you like doing lead code contest problems, come to my Discord. We can chat about the contests afterwards and so forth. The live smart people there, we can chat about it together. Um, for this one, it is, it is easy. So I, the solution that I did is a very uh, brute force one in that I literally just go through the entire list up to N and then count the number of divisors. And if the total divisors is three, then you know this is basically what the problem asks for. There are a couple of optimizations you can use. The first one is noticing that you for divisors, you only need to go to up to square root of N. So in that case, it actually makes things go to O of square root of N because my code is O of N, even though that's actually super linear because the, in, the input size is the number of bits, right? Um, but there's actually an O of 1 solution where, for some definition of O of 1, um, where, uh, you know, a number only has three divisors if it is a perfect square, right? And you can kind of, um, but not if and only if. Uh, for example, you have 64, you know, something like that. So it has to be, n squared where n is a prime, hmm. right? Yeah, um, to to have three divisors. Um, so you can use that to kind of um, get a better solution if you want. Um, I think, you know, for me, I was like during the con or during given the virtual contest, I was like, I don't want to do this. So that's basically how I end up at this. And you know, both on the interview and coding contest and whatever. You know the the thing that I always try to do is keep it uh keep it stable and simple um and that's why I do it here keep it simple uh let me know what you think about this one and you could watch me solve it live during the contest next should've gotten the keyboard though oh well that's like three positive t hmm. I've got it for you. I want to do linear or square root. It doesn't matter, I guess. Um, oh, so this is if it is exactly a square, hmm, right? Yeah, okay. Is that a thing? I'm doing it just a little bit slower. I feel like this is a riskier play though, because there may be some weirdness. But I went by one. Oof, I'm almost submitted. I think one is wrong. So one and two. Well, one is the only square. So okay. If n is equal to one, we can force. Oof. Almost submitted that one. Probably should have done, done the naive algorithm, to be honest. Uh, I, I want to submit, and I think this is right, but let's just do the naive one. I don't want to waste five minute penalty on something stupid, and this is not true. It doesn't matter anyway. So, yeah, yeah let's just do it the stupid way. Come on now. Why overthink this? Um, okay. Yeah, uh, I was trying to be co too clever. Okay. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, other problems, whatever you need to do. I'll see you later. To Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.